Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket 1. Here's my tips on how to finish a head gasket job after I've done my first head gasket job, which was done on this 2007 3.3 liter V6 Dodge Grand Caravan. First, I'm going to have to say you need the right tools. Doing this with these cheap Walmart wrenches and especially without an impact gun is nearly impossible. So make sure you go out and get a good set of tools before you start because the last thing you want is to be stuck with bad tools with your heads off and you're unable to drive your car. Next, I recommend you watch as many videos as possible because if you just watch one, there is a possibility that the person who made the video either missed something or he simply did something incorrectly, so I recommend you watch a whole bunch of videos. I didn't do this step and so I actually had to re I actually had to redo my head gasket job because I wound up putting one of the gaskets on the wrong side of the head. Third, take your time and be sure to use all the gaskets and make sure orientation is correct. I had to redo my head gasket job because of this because I put the left side gasket on the right side because I didn't know there was a difference and I didn't notice that there was an L and an R on it so I never looked it up. 4. Make sure you clean all your mating surfaces as good as possible and when I mean clean them as good as possible I mean you're going to want to sand the heads and the block with 600 grit sandpaper and water. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, put some paper towels into the cylinders so you don't get any water into the block and then you're going to spray some water onto the surface with a spray bottle and then you're going to sand it with 600 grit sandpaper really quickly and make sure you spread it out across so you don't make the head uneven or the block uneven and just do it till it's clean that way the surface will be totally clean and smooth the fifth thing I'm going to recommend is that you use a radiator flush and a sea foam in your crankcase after you got your head gasket job done because most likely you're going to have some kind of contamination in your block and your radiator is going to be contaminated from oil or or just old, being old because of the uh, head gasket breaking or whatever. So I just recommend you do a full radiator flush and put seafoam in your crankcase but do not drive the car with it. I recommend you put seafoam, the recommended amount, into your engine. Run the engine for like five minutes or so and immediately turn off the engine and wait like a couple hours for all the oil to go into the oil pan and then drain it out. Do not drive the car with seafoam in it because I think that will clean out the engine too much. Finally, the sixth tip I will give you is to wash your engine bay when you are done. Now, I personally recommend for this engine that you can wash your engine bay with actually a hose and water and dish soap and then scrub all the surfaces and then rinse it down. For this engine that is because on this engine there really isn't any pools where uh, water can pool up. But make sure you check with your engine to make sure that it's actually fine to wash it because that's one problem with engines is if water sits on it. So thanks for watching this video. Hopefully these tips were helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Bye.